Hello friends. So are you wondering on how can you prevent cavities or you want to give your child that healthy set of teeth and you want to provide them naturally with the best food available with the best sources available. You want to avoid that dental visits? Yes. So today friends we are going to discuss on one of such topics which is going to help you prevent cavities have better teeth and much stronger teeth so this is going to be by a natural source and friends remember that this secret weapon that i'm going to tell you is just one thing so it is always going to be a combination of things that you need to do as we all know the teeth is made up of various minerals like calcium phosphorus fluoride so having a combination of all of this is going to help Today we are going to speak one of it. Come, let us have a look at this today's video. Subscribe to my channel Dr. Mansi Shah for dental related videos. Hello and a very happy morning to all of you and here you are on my show Monday Mornings with Mansi and my YouTube channel Dr. Mansi Shah. Friends, today we are going to speak about a very important vitamin. And that vitamin reinforces a very important mineral in your teeth what is it but before that i have a question for you have you ever uh, visited a doctor saying that your joints are paining and or you have taken some patient to a doctor whose joints are paining a lot and the doctor says are you have calcium deficiency so they recommend you sitting in the sunlight or having vitamin d supplements Yes, we know that sunlight is a source of vitamin D. And yes, if vitamin D supplements are given, that is definitely a vitamin D source. So, why for calcium is this vitamin D required? Have you ever thought of it? So friends, there is a study which says the vitamin D is a very much important fat soluble vitamin which is required to absorb calcium from the food the drinks that you eat and drink so if this vitamin d is present this calcium automat automatically gets absorbed in your body and does its work so yes friends we are going to speak about this vitamin d today deficiency of vitamin d is seen to and is proven that it causes a lot of caries and weak teeth in the children and nowadays when the teeth are erupting at least till the age of 18 months to 2 years doctors recommend vitamin d syrups to all the children so if you have small children at home you have definitely seen them taking taking those vitamin d syrups that is for the only purpose that the calcium that you are giving the calcium the baby is getting should get absorbed and it also helps this vitamin d also helps in better stronger formation of teeth and the new teeth buds which are growing below this primary milk teeth that are also formed in a much better way friends this vitamin d is mainly required for two things one is mineralization maintaining the mineral levels of your teeth and the second is the gums health the gums health study is not very much stronger or it does not have much of an evident base uh, but uh, according to the recent studies and a little bit of evidence which i have got to know i'm going to tell you that gums uh, has bones inside it and that bones if they're stronger it helps in keeping your periodontal health in a much better way holding your teeth in a much firm position so yes in that way round we can have that logic of vitamin d calcium and your periodontal health the first most important thing your teeth yes as i told you your teeth are made up of minerals calcium is one of the important mineral which are teeth uh, which is present in the teeth so if you have vitamin deficiency the calcium won't get absorbed and that will eventually lead to weak teeth now by weak teeth i mean that they can easily get fracture if you eat something very much hard or bite on something very much hard because the tooth gets brittle also if there is a uh, minerals which have come out the tooth has become weak then there are chances that the bacteria can easily attack because the hardness of the tooth
tooth is lost, the bacteria can easily attack it. And that's the reason it can cause cavities and caries in children. Consumption of vitamin D is very much important. Now similar things happen in adults. Adulthood also, vitamin D deficiency leads to deficiency of calcium and that in result uh, causes cavities and fracture teeth. So now, what are the sources of this vitamin D? If you are a non-vegetarian, then you have cod liver oil, uh, fish like tuna, salmons, all these things, egg yolk, these are a good and rich source of vitamin D. If you are vegetarians, then you have a fewer source like milk, cheese, cheese uh, milk products. These are a form of uh, source of calcium and vitamin D together. So in vegetarians, it is mostly recommended that you have and enrich your vitamin D with the help of supplements. If you are suffering and having joints pain, a lot of tooth decay, then I would suggest that visit a physician and take appropriate dosage of vitamin D and that is definitely going to help you out. So this vitamin D is seen to increase the micro hardness, the toughness of your teeth and increase the mineral content. Along with it, in the early stages in kids, this vitamin D, because it can cause uh, increase in the calcium levels, it is seen to remineralize the early lesions. So yes, there are studies which are present and it is somewhere in the proving stage that yes, it is very much important. So, remineralization, that is this kind of thing, if it is seen, the white patches which are seen on the children's mouth, that with increase in the calcium can be remineralized and the decay can be prevented. This is nothing but an early lesion and this is mainly seen in children before the cavity starts. It is always good to have an opt for natural things. But if you are seen to have cavities and caries already in the mouth, which are paining or which are causing sensitivity, then I would say and suggest that please visit your dentist, get it treated. And post that the new ones which are good, prevent them by eating the right food. And yes, brushing twice, flossing daily, using mouthwash as and when required. In children, using a fluoridated toothpaste and avoiding gel toothpaste is very much important and make sure you do follow it. When should you start brushing teeth? In the early stages, it is right from the six months when, they, when their first tooth starts erupting. And friends, remember, fluoride is a very much important element in a mineral which helps you from preventing cavities. And the natural way of getting fluoride is through the Water, the drinking water in which the government has already added enough fluoride to prevent teeth fluorosis. So, drink plenty of water, eat correct food, stay healthy, exercise well. Make sure you visit your dentist every six months for a regular checkup. Hi, I am Dr. Mansi Shah, practicing in the city of Pune. If you are having any questions related to cavities, to teeth, do mention it in the comment section below. If you are liking my videos and my content, make sure you give a thumbs up and share my videos among your friends. Do make sure you subscribe to the channel Dr. Mansi Shah. Friends, wishing you all a very happy and a healthy smile. Stay healthy, stay happy and stay over fit. Thank you.